Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's here to before you're bringing you in our Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Panzer 1 Os B. The Panzer 1 was a light tank produced in Nazi Germany in the 1930s. The name is short for the German Panzerkampfwagen 1, Armored Fighting Vehicle Mark 1, abbreviated PZKPFW1. The tank's official German ordnance designation was the SDKFZ 101. The design of the Panzer I began in 1932 and mass production began in 1934, intended only as a training tank to introduce the concept of armor warfare to the German army. The Panzer I saw combat in Spain during the Spanish Civil War, in Poland, France, the Soviet Union, and North Africa during the Second World War, and in China during the Second Sino-Japanese War. Experiences with the Panzer I during the Spanish Civil War helped shape the German Panzer Waffs invasion of Poland in 1939 in France in 1940. By 1941, the Panzer I chassis was, design was used as the basis of tank destroyers and assault guns. There were attempts to upgrade the Panzer I throughout its service history, including by foreign nations to extend the des design's lifespan. It continued to serve in the Spanish Armed Forces until 1954. So yeah, the Panzer Kempfwagen uh, Offspe here is a, a very iconic uh, Panzer tank. was one of the Basically, one of the main uh, light tanks really used by the German army in the early stages of World War II. It's going to make an awesome addition to any kind of invasion of Poland or invasion of France type uh, maps. And uh, again, could be used throughout the entire, uh, any, any World War II conflict really, if you want to, even though they were starting to get phased out uh, near the, I would say, shortly after the early stages of World War II. Uh, so yeah, really uh, interesting tank here, and we do have the OSB, which is basically the uh, second version of the tank. Um, but yeah, overall really nice design, and it is a redesign, so uh, it will be a nice replacement for the old Panzer one we have on the channel. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and kind of move in to take a look here at the build, see exactly where we go ahead and building, and then pretty much go from there. So, start off with, we have obviously the front here, front headlights, the front, uh, basically sloped armor, and the viewport there. We have the turret here, which is equipped with two 7.92 mil, er, mm MG-13 machine guns. Again, not very good armament on this tank, mainly used as an uh, anti-infantry type tank or infantry support tank. And really, that's all it can do. Uh, I wasn't going to be able to pack a punch against anything bigger than uh, a soldier on the field. Uh, we then have basically the back here, nothing too fancy, so some vents, the uh, exhaust, and all that stuff for the tank. So, overall, really nice looking build, and again, it's going to make a great addition to any of your early uh, World War II type maps or anything like that you're working on. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright, guys, moving into our first layer, we go ahead and start off with layer zero and one. For these layers, to begin with, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab here, followed by a narrow brick top slab, coming off the slab, like so, like that. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks on the ground like so. And uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of blocks across the top here like so. Now on the bottom of these blocks, we're going to go ahead and take our grindstones and we're going to place down a row of five grindstones here on the bottom of these stone blocks. So all the way across there like so. And we can go ahead and then delete the blocks that are on top of them. Now the sides of these grindstones, we're going to go, and go to the last three, and we're going to place down dark open sides along the sides here. And then we want to go ahead and then go to each one of these grindstones, and we're going to place down a item frame here on the sides of them, like so. And then stone blocks in the item frames like that for your road wheels. On the back side here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, and then a wither skeleton skull there on the very end. After that's done, we're going to go, and go to the front here, come off this dare brick slab, we're going to place down two stone top slabs over to the side and then go to the back here we're going to go ahead and go to this last grindstone and place down two stone top slabs coming off it to the side. On the inside here coming off the stone brick slab we're going to place down a stone or a skeleton skull just like that. Then uh, once we have that done we can go ahead and fill in the space here in the middle with stone top slabs to close the space off. After that moving to the sides here we're going to place down an air brick slab followed by an air brick top slab coming off of it and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four and five narrow brick blocks in the ground a stone brick top side back here skeleton skull on the inside and a weird skeleton skull come off the back and again our uh, narrow, narrow brick block on the bottom here the stone brick top slab and again just like we did before we're going to place down a row of blocks across the top here and on the bottom here we're going to take our grindstones and place down our row five of grindstones so one two three four 
and five grindstones like that. After that's all complete there, we're going to then take our item frames, we're going to place a row of five of item frames on the side here, and stone blocks in each of these item frames, as well as dark liquid signs here on the sides here of these grindstones, all the way along the side there. And with that done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number one, or layer zero one for the build. With that, let's move on to layer number two. I guess we move on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of two of stone blocks across the middle here, followed by a light gray shulker box to both sides, stone button on the side here, item frame, and then a cobweb in the item frame. And over here, same thing, stone button, item frame, and a cobweb in the item frame, like that. From this, we're going to then place down a narrow brick stair, come off those two narrow brick top slabs there, and then a row of two of andesite walls across the front there, just like that. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and then take our narrow brick top slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. Narrow brick top slabs back, same thing here, one, two, three. And then we're going to do a row of one and two. Narrow brick slabs, one and two. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick slab here to both sides, just like that. Once uh, that's done, on the first three narrow brick slabs here, we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid signs, and on each one of these slabs, we're going to place down an item frame with a stone block in each of these item frames. Going over here, we're going to go and do the same thing. So, row of dark liquid signs along the side here. Item frames, and we're going to place down stone blocks in each one of these item frames. We then want to go and go to the space in between these slabs, and we're going to fill the space all the way in until we get to this, these last two stone brick or stone top slabs. We're going to go and then place down a row of uh, stone. It's going to go across in between them, and then a row of two of andesite walls that come off those two stone blocks. And then uh, lastly, we're just going to place down a stone stair, come off those two stone brick slabs. After that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 2. Here's what it looks like from above, and from the sides, pretty simple stuff so far. That right there is it for layer 2, let's move on to layer number 3. I guess moving on to our next layer, we've moved on to layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of uh, 2 of stone slabs across this space right here. Over here to the left side, we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors going forward. And on this iron trap door on the end here, we're going to place down a uh, item frame with a snowball in the item frame like so, and a light gray carpet on top of that narrow brick stair. We're going to go ahead and go over this narrow brick stair here on the other side. We're going to place down a light gray carpet as well. We're going to go ahead and then place down an anvil, and then come off the anvil going back. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that. On the side of the anvil facing toward the front, we're going to place down an item frame and a snowball on the item frame like that for the front headlight. And lastly, on this anvil, we're going to place down a dark liquid sign to the right side of it. Once uh, we have that complete, we're going to go and place down a stone block back from the slab here on the right side. And then let's come off the stone block, we're going to place down an iron trap door. We're going to go and then place down a stone stair on the left side, so over here. And on, on the right side, we're going to place down a andesite wall. After that, cut off the andesite wall to the side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then, uh, when we get to this section here, to the left side, we're going to place down a smooth stone block, and then another stone stair like this. Come off the back of this stone stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door again. And we want to go and then grab ourselves a black concrete block, and in between these iron trap doors here, we're going to place down a black concrete block. We're going to go and then take our stone blocks, place down one and two, go back from that one right there. And then to the sides here, we're going to place down a stone block like that after the inside wall, and an inside wall right there in that corner space there. We're going to go ahead and take our stone slabs, we're going to place down a row of two of stone slabs across here. A wither skeleton skull cut off both sides of those slabs. And we're going to go ahead and place down a acacia wood slab coming off these two nerebrick, or two wither skeleton skulls. And acacia wood signs here on the sides of those slabs, followed by a wither skeleton skull cut off the two slabs like that toward the back. We then want to place down a row of two of daylight detectors across the back here, and we're going to place we're going to turn to the night mode so that they have that bluish tint to them. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number two, or sorry, layer number three for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers here, layers four, five, and six. I guess going ahead and move it into our last five layers, we have layers four through six. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to this skeleton skull. We're going to place down two iron bars, or sorry, three iron bars that go up from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone block on this space right here, so that stone block there. And then the both sides of it, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair. Cut off the two stone upside down stairs, we're going to place down an end rod to both sides, and then a dark open sign on the side of the stone block there in the center. We're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across. 
followed by a stone block here to mark with the middle one to the back, and then in both corners here we're to place down any side walls. Now on the sides here of these stone blocks here, we're to place down a wither skill or wither or not wither, but a uh, iron frame of a black concrete block in the iron frame and a dark liquid sign over the block on both sides of the turret, like so. And we're also going to place down the iron frames here on these two inside walls on the back. Black concrete in those iron frames and a dark liquid sign uh, over them like that. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down an iron trap door here on top and center. A red stone repeater in front of it and then a stone button. It's going to go right here on top of this stone full block. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my tutorial here for the Panzer 1 Offs B. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this design, do I see you guys even proper credit for this? Give a thank you from inside the build, tweet my channel, where this video it is, does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, your free user for projects you guys are working on over on Enjoy the Build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And uh, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This will be here at 204, and I'll see you guys next time.